Okay, Dawn back again. Well, our scan, virus scan finished. And there was a big red lettered warning up there. And it went away before I got to read it. I was in the other room. And uh, it, uh, but I can go to the logs. Go here in the logs and see what it is. Make it big enough to read the words. Oh. Yeah, it timed out, expired while waiting for your response. Okay. <coughs> Events on demand scan. Whoops, wasn't showing that with a Okay, yeah, this is telling me what my results were. Oh, that's just where my scan was. Okay. Okay, back to tools. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Quarantine. Show all. There we go. number of objects well I had it set to uh, just one thing and I wanted to see what it was is what I wanted to do I thought somewhere in here we could uh, see what it see the results I don't even use Windows that much anymore but recent uh, but I have used these programs in the last few months but I always I'm always jumping from one operating system or one program to the other so I forget <coughs> so I don't see anything telling me exactly what it was whoops what the heck did I do virus radar it opened up the web browser And went to I guess it's well it's not in quarantine because I didn't tell it to quarantine them I told it to delete them so but I'd like to know oh submit file for analysis well I don't know that's kind of cool that you can do that from right there okay so I can't see it's not going to tell me what that file was so what I, I always like to know what it is and where it was uh, you know, in case, uh, well, I don't ever try to manually fix broken windows or not really. Uh, if something gets broken on Linux, I usually just use a program to fix it. Show scan log. So there's the, oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Okay. Evidently, the red one would be the one that with the problem. This, like I was talking about, is in my downloads Linux, ISOs, and Windows EXEs for installing stuff. It's sort of <laughs> very program that I'm running this off of. Uh, no, it was the other, the other one. Was, yeah, and you know, let's see what it says it is. Okay, it says it's a script NSI. Setup execute has NSIS script NSI Win32 install monetizer and potentially unwanted application. Oh, action selection pos postponed until scan completed. Okay, so that's just a pup. So this is telling you a bunch of them that are, some of them say they're okay. Where's the one? Four objects objects cannot be open. Maybe use in use in another location of the operating system. Hmm. That, of course, the operating system's not running. Number found. So I wonder if they're locked somehow. And those are the bad ones. I've pretty well figured out that if you get a, even one 
Trojan or any kind of real, you know, virus on your Windows system, you might as well reformat. You'll never really get it cleaned up. And even and even reformatting, always reformat the re reinstall the bootloader too because they hide in there. But even that's not a hundred percent. They figure out ways to hide these Trojans. They can be really small. They can hide in very small spaces, like in your bootloader and stuff like that. Um, one object, one object. Oh, error reading. Yeah, there's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five of them there. When the, that was something off of the uh, system partition, looks like. Windows 1 XS, AMD 64. Hmm. Let's see. Local Disk 2, yeah. Which I'm thinking is the... Uh, no? Local Disk 2 is the same disk as where my, my folders are, so that's not the system partition. Whatever they were, they were in Windows. Yeah, okay. Stuff that couldn't be read, which happens, you know, some things are password protective to try to keep them from getting infected, so it gets more and more confusing trying to figure it all out. You're just kind of guessing unless you're a security guru. Network engineer, software engineer, or something on that order. Um, studio. OBS Studio. Yeah, OBS Studio should be alright. I like that app, and it's I never. I always scan things before I download them now with Virus Total, that online link scanner. And, File you can scan your if it the link goes to a file it'll scan that or it'll scan the website if your link just goes to a website and tell you if there's any anything known on there that's bad. But yeah, every one of my Windows systems where I have these uh, USB boot install uh, low, uh, builders, multi boot builders, they're they're all showing up with some sort of adware and stuff. But I already knew they were on there. They tell you that on the site, but. But some mad work can be really bad and just get all over your computer and stuff. But I've never had that happen for many of these, but they keep showing up when you do a scan that includes p pups. So let's see. What's this? Oh, another part of OBS Studio. That's still okay. I don't know why it's reported if it's okay. Yeah, like for instance, local disk, Plymouth image, Plymouth, Plymouth, I call it Plymouth, it's a part of the Linux bootloader. Uh, it's uh, archive damage, there's nothing wrong with it, 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 it does that. It, even with Clam AV, it'll show up as a damaged or broken archive, and they're not, they're working perfectly every time. So you gotta, that would be a false positive there. Of course, they're not saying it's infected, it's just saying it's damaged, but... I still, after all that, reading through every bit of that, I did not see what the file was. It just says, number of threats found, one. And that's all. <coughs> Where's the one threat? Unless they're calling this one that's in red. Potentially unwanted application. Okay, that's what I'm going to have to deduce. Is it Sardu? Is it? And it's not actually infected with any. Well, monetizer. So, install monetizer. And so, you know, on this system, it wouldn't really matter anyway. I've got uh, for a while. I was like, oh, quit bugging me about that stuff. And I thought, well, what if it's really gotten infected with something that the uh, the author didn't put in there? So. I started going in and deleting them. You can always download them again off their website, you know. So, it's uh, according to ESET Rescue, it is only one thing and it wasn't something real bad. So, 
close that. And uh, I didn't really know for sure. I'm going to click on custom scan. Oh, okay, yeah, custom scan. Well, that's how I... Uh, okay, that's... What I did is I went in here and I said set up scan. So it doesn't matter which one you pick from what... Oh! I don't want that. Stop. Okay, so maybe I didn't get what I wanted. Well, it scanned through deep enough in there to get to my downloads folder, so... Oh, okay, yeah, when I did that, I said in-depth scan. I selected what I wanted. Yeah, so even though I clicked on smart scan, I think it was... It got what I wanted and scanned. <coughs> so, it's kind of... Cool, cool outfit, but it, you know it can be a little confusing to uh, a smart scan. From what I gather, doesn't uh, I've seen before with the at least other. I don't know about this one really, but with some of these, uh, when you use the smart scan, it won't even get your uh, your user download folders and stuff like that. The most common place where you could end up some something bad, you know. So this is their website. I don't know, even know what I clicked on to get to it. Wait, that looks like a lookup of a file. Virus radar. Doesn't say the name of a file. Usually, when you see something, a page like that, you, it's a lookup list. I think this is just. Android. I think this is a list of the 32. Oh, I think it's a list of uh, recent infected files or something. Oh, it's good for Android too. That's good to know because I can use this. I could probably. Well, I don't. I'm gonna see, used to. I used to read about you know dual booting Androids and stuff, but uh, on my phones. I would like to be able to do a boot scan, you know, uh, just like you do on Windows and with the operating system not running. So, if I was able to use my USB cable, I'd have to get an adapter because I've got, uh, you know, mail, mail, and anyway, I'd have to have an adapter so that I could plug it in. But if I could make this phone boot to a rescue uh, disk that's actually set up to scan androids then uh, that would be pretty cool I can make sure it's clean <coughs> so anyway um well that's good to know I, I might uh, I was going to say a minute ago I'm probably just going to reformat it no matter what cause, but I guess if I scan it with the other two I scan it twice and they come up with nothing bad really bad and I could uh 